Hello everyone. It's been a while uh, since I completed my Voron V0 and I'm using it for, I don't know, a couple months. And I want to show you the latest opinion of mine about the Formbot kit. Now, let's start with the bad news. So, first of all, I was using uh, Octoprint in my on my Raspberry Pi as a OS. After a while, I realized that my printer stopped working in the mid, mid of the print and I didn't go deeper, but what I suspected, uh, the Raspberry Pi is just overheating and shutting it itself. So that's why my print also was stopping in the mid print. And I, like I said, I didn't debug it. I just switch with the main sale because I'm not using functional plugins like power supply control on the V2. So I thought I can give up the plugins what I was using with the V0 and I installed main sale and with main sale, I didn't face any issue with that. So if you remember that while I'm doing the unpacking of the form bot, I was saying that the Raspberry seems a little bit suspicious. I think it is maybe clone, I'm not sure. Because I didn't face this problem with my V2 and I was also using plugins in the Octoprint, if you remember. So probably Raspberry Pi is a clone. So you might be careful about that. You might want to be, want to be careful about that. And yeah, and another thing I have added a small OLED screen. So this is a mod. I'm sorry, but I couldn't remember the name of the creator of this mod, but I will add the description. I, would, I will add the link and his name or her name in the description. So this is just basically OLED screen, which you can control and see the status like this. So it's just simply a screen so so this uh, i bought from this one from aliexpress but this project is in the github you can also uh, choose to order yourself like for example jlc pcb and uh, for the from the others but i found one prepared and bought it from yeah from the seller and it is connected with the usb there's a board behind it and so it's not connected to the extension cable, but it connects to the USB. So it's a little bit easier. So again, this one is a, defined as an emergency stuff, but you can define whatever you can, whatever you want. Another bad thing, I'm not sure you can see it or not, but in the this plexiglass, there's a cracks inside. And it's not only for the door, in the door, in the top hat, in the side panels. Okay, side panels. Okay, yeah. there is nothing on the side panels, but top hats. And if you can see, correct, this one, this part. It's still uh, covering your printer, but it's correct. I, I think it's because of the heat. The outside is colder than the inside when especially the printer is printing. I mean the hot, so I think it's caused that, but I didn't face this issue in the V2, but I don't know the reason, but just you might want to know about that. So uh, it's not bothering me, but uh, like I said, it's just, uh, I'm just trying to give you information. And the worst part, the worst part is bad from now on. I. I decided to uh, again take the formbot kit because I also ordered Trident, Trident parts. By the way, this is a new one, new project. I will do the Trident. I will do the Trident build. So I ordered my parts. When I was ordering the parts, there was no formbot kit for the uh, Trident. That's why I ordered from the separate sellers. Oh man, it's 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 really. It can be really awful what I can say because it's, you know, it's coming from the China and the shipping things, all the things, you know, 
lack of the information, etc., etc. But with that experience also, now I decided if I want to build another Voron again in the future or another 3D printer, I will go with the FormBot CAD because, you know, while I was doing the V2, there was still a uh, quality issue in their in their uh, materials. However, I knew that and I just replaced the required parts like the bearings. Bearings what is that type and I replaced with the RS type, etc. And later on they are they are they, 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 they improved their quality of the material. That's good. So with that now I have more trust on them. So what I decided if I want to build another Voron, I hope, because it's it's fun to do these Voron projects. I will just go with the form bot kit, but I will not use their bed because their bed is awful. Now, like I said, it's been a couple months. Now I heard that they also changed their bed. Now they are selling casted one instead of the rolled one. But the bed is another important part you you want to be careful because of that i will order form bot kit but i will not use their bed because i cannot uh, if you remember i also asked to you if there's a way to see or learn or determine that the bed is casted or uh, rolled so i think there is no way of it except using it with the heat cycle and see the result so that's why i won't use them or i wouldn't use their aluminium bed so the, what i will do i live in europe so i will order their kits and i will order bed the from the one of the trusted cells like formula labs for example for me i will use their bed but I, the other parts will be from the form mode because the other parts are fine. Except the Raspberry Pi, it still works, but it's a little bit suspicious, like I said. But still, it's working, no problem with that, with the mainsail. And lately, all Warren community has switched to mainsail because it's lightweight and it has nice UI user interface it's faster etc etc so also they are slowly adding the required plugins or extensions like for example time lapse so at the end my suggestion will be buy just buy form bot kit but do not use their beds by the way Voron's uh, form bot also offers a flexible kit what i can say for example you can ask that okay <clears throat> i want to order for example, V0, but I don't want to buy, I don't want to put the bed in the, my kit and they can offer new price with, with everything. I, I, you can ask for the frames. Most probably it won't be very big difference since also they are seller and they want to try the profit, but you can try. But at the end, buy form bot kit, but do not use their bed. Take the bed from trusted seller. Let me tell you why a little bit uh, deeper. Now, I'm planning to change the bed in the near future because, yeah, I can show you by the way. Uh, for the, I, I turned the uh, 3 damp part to my V0. And so this part, you know, this is the part of the ABBN mod for the tool head. Uh, it's a big one, huh? It's actually not fitting in the this horizontal or vertical way. So, uh, it, it, it wouldn't matter, by the way, for this issue, because it's using the whole bed for the V0. So, I printed this one diagonally. And since the bed is not flat, that's why I couldn't... Um, I level the bed, but I don't have the mesh bed option huh, in this one. So remember that. So that's why, if you see, it's warped. 
This one is the worst one uh, since it's a bigger one, but yeah, it, it, it's, it cannot be useful, useful in the run, uh, long run. So that's why another thing I don't want to give myself headache. So that's why I decided to change the bed. Here is the part. Now, since I want to change my bed, I need to change also, I need to buy also magnetic sheet and also heater silicon heater because they are you know we stick them on the aluminum bed and they are not harvestable you cannot remove it and put the new one maybe it's possible but i don't want to risk it what i'm trying to say since the bed is not good i need to change it but when i want to change the bed i also change i also have to change magnetic sheet and the silicone heater so three different objects i need to buy extra for changing this one that's why i'm saying i'm telling you if you are considering to build a war and i'm considering to kits the form body is, is fine they are quality materials of quality is fine at least in my experience and what i heard use their thing they are all material except the bed source the bed from the one of the trusted sellers and use that one with that you can save you might be saving uh, money for this magnetic sheet and the silicone heater again i heard that they also right now sending the casted one but i wouldn't trust it another thing i will just close it to move it manually my motors uh to create a workaround for not flat bed for the not flat bed i design uh, this 3d printed part to take the bed mesh so if you see there's a little wire three pin for the prop so basically this is the removable one if i can my idea was once in a while i will i was planning to put this one so it is the magnetic one if you see this one i just glued these two magnets and created this little part and just put this one and plug the cable and take the bed mesh save the mesh in the config and remove it and so you have the bed mesh and you can compensate the unflat bed. However, these were not reliable. The deviation was higher than what it needs to be. So I also tried switch. I also tried, this one is a little different, but I also tried with the Omron switch, but I had still same issue. So most probably this, this connection S still it's it seems solid huh? it's not moving if i want to move the this black printed part it's move the it's causing the move on the tool head so that's what we want so this shouldn't be moved freely from them but still there's a deviation so most probably it's actually moving but we are not seeing since it's very uh, little so this also didn't work so that's why there is a magnet in here, by the way. Yeah, at the end, I will change this one in the near future. For for now, I'm using this one for the smaller, smaller parts. Except that the other parts are like the rails and the bells and the fans and the motors are fine. And ah, another thing in the extruder, while you are doing it, be careful about the extruder. If you see the manual in one part, it's saying that the, the gears pin should be smaller than 3 millimeter if I recall it correctly. So be careful about that because minus, as I remember, it's smaller than 3 millimeter, but still it's causing an issue in the extruder. What's happening is if I use PLA, since the motor is extruder motor is heating, it's creating heat inside the our extruder part complete extruder part this pin is connected to this one so it's con con conducting the heat to other parts inside it 
and the gear bone tech gears which is driving to filament so that is this little not little but this heat causing little bit melt on the filament and at, at some point it is not grabbing the filament because it's pulverized a little bit because it's since it's it's heated a bit I mean the filament is heated a bit it's not biting but it is melting and it's the, the filament is become thinner and at, at this point it is not extruding the filament or attracting the filament I don't uh, face this issue in the ABS since it has um, it needs to be reached a higher temperature but in the PLA I I I am facing this issue yeah, it's not a big problem for me because I print PLA once in a while it's very less but be careful about that and yeah except that like I said the fans are fine the switches are fine the screws are fine and the motors are fine rails are fine only thing bad and raspberry pi and and of course the the, 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 the panels so be careful about those I'll be aware about those and and thanks for watching and see you on the next one